All right, number four over here. Um, how are you going to do it? Can you get in there? Solve for the solution set 2x cubed minus 4 equals 50. All right? So what did you guys do that? You know, you're given the replacement set, and you can only replace the x with these numbers. And what did we get? Um, Sophia, when you put in 3, what did you get? First of all, I draw the pocket, OK? And then put a question mark there. So what happens? Um, you have to put the, in the yeah, you put the 3 in. Can't see it. Right? Yeah. Keep going from there. What do we get? And then you have to the X in. Yes, exponents first. What's 3 cubed? Uh, good. All right. And what did you get? 2 times 27 minus 4 equals? Yeah, 54 minus 4 equals 50. True. So is 3 going to be part of the solution set? Is it? Yeah, it is. Talia, what about 4? Is 4 going to be part of the solution set? How do you find out? Um, wait, do you say me or the other? Oh, yeah. uh, you plug in 4. That's right, you put in 4. 4 is part of the replacement set. And what do you get? What's 4 cubed? Okay. 4, four cubed, cubed, yeah. Is. I don't know, I did, I did it wrong. Okay, but you know what 4 cubed is, right? 4 times 4 times 4? Yeah, but I can't do it that quick. No, it's 4 times 4. 16. What's 16 times 4? It's 4 times 10 <laughs> plus 4 times 6. Okay, so it's uh, 64. Good. See how it works? <laughs> when you have a difficult multiplying question, just break it into the easy parts. 4 times 16 is 4 times 10, which is 40, plus 4 times 6. There you go. Okay, that's how you multiply, but one of the ways. So this is 2 times 64 uh, minus 4, and is it equal to 50? Uh, is it 128 minus 4 does not equal 50? That's false. So is 4 part of the solution set? No. no. And what about 5? Yeah? Do you really need to keep going after like well, three? Well, <laughs> you know what? You, you might want to, you know. Okay, fine. You know, you're on to this. That's fine. Yeah, you're, the fact is you're not going to, it's not going to happen here if it's given away in the first one. Okay, it's not equal to that. This is 250 minus 4. It does not equal 50. False. And so, what is the question they're asking you? Solve for the solution set. What is the solution set here? Three. three. Answer? is 3. And I box it to make sure we know what the answer is, okay? The solution set is simply 3 and you put it in the curly cube brackets and you're done. This is what you use to replace x and this is what you got. And there you go, okay? Right using the, any questions on this? What kind of problem? You okay with that, Ingrid? John, put it away, John. I was the one. Okay, good. Uh, what do, how do we, what's exponential notation? How do we write it? How do we write that in exponential well, notation? Do you know how to do it? Yeah. What is an exponent? It's a little number, right? Yeah. Okay, so how would we write? How many v's are there? Four. Okay, so what do we write? V to the? Four. Good. And, and x's? Stuart? X is x to the third. Okay, so now what do we do? <coughs> Pepper? Now what do we do? You box it. Oh, good for you. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, not going to be fooled by me, are you? No. V to the fourth x cubed. That's done. It's an easy question if you know what exponential notation is. And exponential notation, it's got the word exponent in it. We're going to do two more questions. We're almost done. Use the associative property to write an equivalent expression for 6 plus r plus s. How would we use the associative property? What does the associative property mean, Stuart? Oh, whoops. Jane? I don't know what it is, but I know what to do. Uh, what do you do? Um, you put, you can, the associative, isn't that mean that you, it's like the same thing, but just like switched around? Exactly. Just move the, the parentheses. Yeah. So what would we do? 
Um, you can move it to six on the outside. Uh huh. And then like six plus, and then put parentheses.